Now let's create a mobile version of this part of our main section. So first of all, let's take a look at our Figma design here. As you can see, I made a little bit of adjustment here. I uh, put the, uh, the avatar image at the top and put this text and button at the bottom because if the screen width is really small, it, was, it didn't look good on mobile if you put them side by side. That's why I put it here and put this down here. So we're going to make our UI a little bit similar to this one. All right, so let's close this and let's comment out our main desktop widget. And here, let's create a new container. For our container, let's give it a height. So for the default height will be, uh, we are going to set it to screen height. And we need to give this some constraints as well because user, users, uh, user mobile devices height might be really small. And in that case, we might have some overflow issue. Or if user is opening the uh, website on desktop and shrinking the height of it, uh, something like this, we might have an issue on uh, mobile view of our website, all right? That's why we need to give it some constraints, basically mi uh, minimum height. So box constraints, let's give this mean height. And for the mean height, I found 560 to be uh, kind of a good fit. So you can change it to your liking if you don't want this uh, size. And then let's actually give uh, this child widget. For the child, we are going to use column uh, because I showed you uh, our Im image, avatar image and text button uh, will be shown kind of in a column view. So for children, first it will be avatar image and this is going to be intro text and then uh, BTN. All right. So first of all, let's come here. Let's create image from asset. And for that, I will copy the image path from here. The same one. I don't want to make a typo and not our image not to show up. Something like this. And for intro text, Let's put it, actually for intro text and button, uh, we can use the same widget and adjust some values of it. Let's come here, let's copy uh, all of this, all right? I'll come here, I'll copy, get in touch button, all of it, and all the way up here until our intro message, okay? I copy it and I come to my homepage again and I paste it just below uh, our avatar image just like that okay you can see everything is the same and let's try to reload it and see what we have all right you can see here we have this uh, image and text button so let's adjust the values to our specific use case. First of all, let's give this uh, width. So for the width, uh, I want to set it to screen width, all right? Screen width. And then for this text, let's make this font size 24 instead of 30 because 30 is really big. So 24 should be good. And for this button, uh, we want to match it uh, with the width of our text, intro text. Now, if I reload it, okay, now the text is smaller and the button is a little bit smaller, all right? I think we can make this probably 90, 190. Let's reload it and see how it looks. Okay, not bad. Now, uh, if you take a look at a Figma design, you can see that my image has some uh, overlay on top of it. Kind of uh, the image looks like it has an opacity. That's what we want on our website as well. Okay, let's close this Figma. And here for that, we can actually manip manipulate a widget using shader mask widget in Flutter. So for it, we need to re uh, wrap our widget with a shader mask and this shader mask has a callback 
which actually accepts a shader. So we can uh, create that shader callback. And this shader callback gives us some bounds uh, that has information you need if you want a more advanced manipulation uh, of the widget. All right. So it will uh, not return. It will receive. Oops. It will receive shader. So we want to create a shader from linear gradient. Linear gradient. Mm, linear gradient. And this linear gradient takes colors. For the colors, I already have colors defined, so I'm going to copy uh, those colors here and put them inside this list, just like that. All right. As you can see, we have an error because if you hover over it, it will receive shader. But our uh, here we are actually returning linear gradient. So from linear gradient, you can create a shader. For that, you need to uh, use uh, linear gradients method that is create shader from that okay so for this create shader uh, for this rect we can use bounds we can use the bounds that's coming from here now if we reload it now you can see we have this image with a lot of opacity okay we don't want this kind of opacity uh, basically we can actually you can actually uh, change the blend mode and based on your uh, widget or image manipulation so here uh, for the blend mode of this shader mask i want to use let's choose blend mode for the blend mode uh, i want to use uh, dot source a top all right this source a top uh, enables you manipulate enables you to manipulate the opacity of the widget uh, in this case we have this image widget right if you want to learn about uh, this shader mask actually uh, it's better to read some documentation and watch some tutorials i don't want to go into the details basically what we are doing here is trying to manipulate our image uh, so that we can have some overlay on top of it or you can say uh, change the opacity of this image all right that's what we are doing here if I reload it, we should have a proper image with opacity. Okay, this is what we want here. All right, now if I make it smaller, you can see here we have this uh, image that is responsive because we set the width of it to this screen width. Now let's uh, position the widgets properly uh, based on our Figma design. So first of all, we come here to our column and we need to set main axis alignment and cross axis alignment cross axis alignment oops uh, main axis alignment it will be start and cross axis alignment for the cross axis alignment uh, we are going to oops cross let's change it cross axis alignment of start not stretch but start now uh, if I reload it okay as you can see here our text and button is positioned at the left side and the image is at the center so here let's actually give this some uh, margin so that we can actually uh, separate the text from this edge so let's come to here and let's give this margin so edge insets dot symmetric let's give this symmetric uh, horizontal for the horizontal i want to set it to 40 and for the vertical uh, for the vert vertical let's make it 30 and let's make this const and then let's reload it okay so it's good now we have some spacing and i think we need to give a little bit spacing uh, between image and this text as well let's come down here uh, just under the text, this shader mask widget, we can use sized box. Oops, sized box. Let's give this height. For the height, I think we can use just 30. 30 should be good. Const, and let's reload it. Okay, now we have some spacing. It looks good. Let's try to check it if it's working. If we do not have any issue let's say okay now it's good if we make this bigger 
nothing changes. You know why? Because uh, we are not using any conditionals based on our screen, screen size, right? Like we did for our header. Let's do that. First of all, I want to clean up the code. Just let's grab our container with all of its child. And let's grab it all the way up here. And I will cut it or copy it and remove it. And I'll come here inside this widget folder. I will create a new file. And this will be main of mobile dot dart and state list widget this will be main of mobile instead of this placeholder we are going to return our copied widget let's import all of our missing components and let's remove this and we need screen width here and screen height okay again we will come here and let's actually copy all of it and we can paste it inside this build function just like before and we can come here and now we have this main desktop right so now we want to use conditional just we did for this header first of all we can actually copy this conditional if this is the case right if our uh, max width is equal to or bigger than minimum desktop width then we will show main desktop Let's make this const, else, if that's not the case, we will show that main mobile, all right? And let's make this const as well. Now, if we reload it, we should have mobile view. Now you can see we have mobile header and uh, mobile, what is it? This M, the mobile version of our main section in total. If we change the size, now you can see it's showing our desktop version. If you make it small, it changes it. If you make it big, it changes it just like that. Okay, now I think we are pretty much done with our main sections UI. We can move on to the other parts.